We humans consume the world. We eat the best pieces of the cake and throw away our garbage. Trash nowadays can be seen everywhere, in cities or in nature. No one will be shocked seeing some plastic bottles lying on the streets. It became part of our landscape. According to statistics of United Nations, one Mauritian generates 2.3 kilos of municipal waste every day, which represents almost one ton per year and 63 tons during a lifetime. Who feels conscious about environment? I can see many of us. We know there is a problem. We, we know the consequences and even the solutions. But how come there is still more trash? <laughs> Every year, 400,000 tons of waste enter the landfill site at Marshikos. By the end of 2019, it will reach its full capacity. Pollution amplifies climate change. We all witness the rising temperature, the flash floods, and severe natural catastrophes. By not reacting, we accept to be passive. We are silently supporting the current situation. We hear the alarm, but we are not listening. Maybe we don't have time for that, or we like to do something but don't know exactly what. A few years back with some friends, we've decided to act facing climate change. And Le Cien Viva was born as a collective of artists, writers, and nature-loving activists. We organize sea activities for kids, do cleanup, expo, screen our documentary on pollution, and introduce recycled music instruments. I used to craft ethnic music instruments like didgeridoos uh, in, and flute in bamboo or wood. But when I started experimenting with recycling, people got really amazed. And we, didn't, uh, we even did concerts with those instruments. And now I do presentations and workshops around the island and even became teacher at the alternative school, Le Dicé du Savoir. Every morning I go jogging barefoot and um, I notice that people have the habit of dumping their construction leftovers in sugarcane fields. And I've picked up some pieces of tiles to make this xylophone. Some I really love what I do, and every day I keep finding more benefits to it. For example, you become aware about the amount of waste which is left by mankind. You reuse things and buy only if needed. You remove some garbage and give it value. Your bin is access to free material, and the instruments can be concert tuned. You can earn a living from this art, from trash to cash. And it's also a way of learning handy skills, and it stimulates intelligence and creativity. Do you know this instrument? You're Mauritians, no? <laughs> Um, traditions are important. However, our ancestors did not have the 
the tools and the materials which we have now. I try to make the most of it. So this ravan is made from a serigraphy printing film holding onto a bicycle wheel with staples. I really like interacting with kids. They're also an inspiration for me, like in the way they act or behave. They do not have blinkers like we adults have. And it gives hope to see the kids from Fridays for Future striking every week to tell the government how to act facing climate change. To conclude, I would like you all just to think one tiny second what are the consequences of our existence? Both material or immaterial. What are we leaving to this world? What are we leaving for our kids? Concerning pollution, let's acknowledge there's a problem. And decide to act now. But simple things like refusing single-use plastics is already a lot. Among the waste collected by scavengers, almost 90% of what's in your bin is actually compostable or recyclable. Individual, individual actions bring collective change. As humans changed nature, now human nature must change. We can no longer separate ourselves from nature because we are part of it. And we are alive. If we are here today, we are alive. And so should be our environment. So as I turn trash into music, I invite you all to turn our problems into solutions. Thank you. Thank you.